M0FXP Digital Ham Radio Diary. Welcome. M0FXP, welcome to my channel. So back up and restore on a PyStar hotspot. So we look here, we go to for configuration like so, and you get this option for backup and restore. See it? So this is a fully working hotspot on DSTAR at the moment. I'll show you the config. Just go dashboard, then we go config. And it's the usual settings. Look, DSTAR, you've selected your hat here, frequency, call sign, you know, usual for DSTAR, M0FXB. B, it should be there but I'm using Q because I've got multiple hotspots anyway so that's fine all working good so we choose backup and restore so when you click the down green arrow click that and it will give you this file zip save that zip somewhere or just leave it in downloads if you want now if you want to go the other way I would go choose file here so look choose file and then it's go to downloads and it's the one at the top double click and look choose file and I have done it and it does it it does what I've already chosen it haven't I so click the up arrow see and that will upload in your config and I've just done this and it does work it did work well now I would say that the I think that the original SD card would have had to been loaded with Bellina first with an image from Pystar yeah um, and your Wi-Fi details and all that originally I think so we're gonna test that by going over to Pystar and we're going to actually factory reset this one so we just go configuration factory reset click OK and when we do that it will come back with a completely blank pie start now what I do I'll see if it will back up now from look see it's blank now all these that's not my call sign that's not the frequency blah 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 so let's just do the backup and install again let's see if it works we'll go choose file we know the files at the top here double click and then we'll click up and if it puts everything back as it was we know that did work and we'll select that by just going to config again and let's have a look yeah there are there's my call signs that completely worked and what I'll do now is I'll get a an SD card I will format it completely I won't use Bellina I'll just format it like a blank SD card and let's see if it still works uh, but for now we'll quickly factory reset the one that we've got so we've got a blank SD card and um, we're back soon so yeah that didn't work you can't use a blank SD card you do have to have one that's got an image loaded on it so where do you get the image from here on PyStar downloads I'll put the link in just go here downloads download PyStar and for a normal little small jumbo hotspot simplex you just click this bottom one here you get the zip once you've got the zip go to Bellina etcher like here download this program and it looks like this and you just select the image that you've downloaded from just save it somewhere where you know where it is select the SD card that's plugged into your PC I like to use like 16 gigabyte and then click flash and once that's gone all the way transferred across with no errors uh, you just need to get your Wi-Fi on there. So go to PyStar Builder again. Link in description. So you go to PyStar Tools, PyStar Wi-Fi Builder, and then here you can put in the SSID, which is the username of your broadband and your password. Uh, you're going to need that. And then once you've got that, click Submit, and you get a, a little file come down here at the bottom. That file is like a little white file. Just drag it into your SD card drop or copy and paste it and then that's your Wi-Fi details and plug that into your hotspot and then you're gonna have to, and now you're gonna have to configure that uh, well once you've configured it I, I would say uh, let me think now once you've got that image on your and you're talking to your hotspot then you can use your backup that's what I will say if we go back to my hotspot uh, which is blank so you'll have it blank after backing up there'll be no call sign or nothing and you wouldn't have even selected your modem type yet so once you've done that, you can just upload your backup. So let's do it again one last time. Backup restore, choose file, and then it's that one there. And then we're going to go green arrow up. And then with a bit of luck, our hotspot will start working again. See how long that takes. If it's too slow, then I'll just 
You'll have to take my word for it. Yeah, it's taken ages. There's that little WPA file down there. Pi Star, Raspberry Pi. Yeah, it's lost connection, changed the internet. But anyway, you get the idea. So 7-3, thanks for watching my channel. All the best.